So it's my birthday, and I'm sure it'll come as no surprise to you <laughs> that it got me to thinking. First of all, I absolutely want to preface this by thanking all of you that have reached out to wish me a happy birthday. I truly do appreciate it. And I hope that you will listen to this in the spirit of understanding that it has nothing to do with you or me, and that it's a moment just to consider. So for my birthday, I would love it if you came along and thought about this with me and see what insights come up for you. What comes to mind for me is expectations. It feels like there's a lot of weight of expectations during birthdays, not only for the birthday person, but for those around them. So it's been made a little bit easy in some respects from the point of view of the social media where they notify you when it's people's birthdays. And if you have you know, 1200 friends, and you're into that sort of thing, then you're going to wish people happy birthday, and you're going to feel like perhaps you've brightened their day. It's interesting, though, because A, you're, you can brighten someone's day any day. And B, typically, you know, 40 50% of those 1200, you don't even know them. <laughs> So that's interesting to me. No criticism. It's just interesting to me that somebody would get notified by, you know, the, the internet that it's my birthday and that I would receive a message from somebody that I don't know. And if I do know them, um, then it dawns on me that maybe there's something wrong with me because I've perhaps forgotten how I know them. So then there becomes the obligation piece of, do I respond to each of these? Do I, you know, do one of those blanket messages that everybody does at, you know, the day after saying, oh, I'm, I'm so blessed and honored to have received all these wishes, et cetera, et cetera. Listen, I, and again, this is a little hardcore, but I, I am blessed and honored every single day just to live the life that I lead. Um, and I take full responsibility for it. The people in my life that want to engage in that and to commune and collaborate and co-create spaces and opportunities and experiences with me are the people that choose to do so. And it's not dependent on a day of the year to show me how they feel. Now, that's not to say that <laughs> that I don't love getting messages, because I do. I mean, who doesn't? Um, and ironically, just now I received a singing message in French from a very close friend um, who obviously took the time to, to wish me happy birthday in a very different way. Now, had he not done that, it would have made no difference to me. Um, and yet he did make a difference in my day today, right in the middle of writing this, which I think is a lovely ping from the universe. <laughs> but it was original, and uh, it was beautiful, and it was different, and that's cool. Simultaneously, I received an email from my brother with a lovely message um, saying something to the effect of, from my point of view, you're still a spring chicken or something like that, you know, something very sweet. Um, but it got me, again, to thinking from his point of view. Why is there judgment? I'm sure he didn't mean it that way. So again, you know, uh, don't take this as a rant. But why do we put upon people how we hope they feel or how we feel about them? Why can we not skip the part about saying that, about saying, I hope, I hope you have a great birthday, or I hope that you are, um, you know, dot, 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 spoiling yourself, et cetera, et cetera. God forbid that I'm not. Um, you know, and again, take this with a grain of salt. Um, you know, when people offer their opinions about, well, I think you look great. It's a, I mean, cool. <laughs> but is that implying that maybe they think that I don't think that I look great? I don't even know if I'm going to publish this because it sounds too ranty to me. But at the same time, you know, maybe, maybe there's an opportunity here just to 
since it's my birthday, <laughs> push the edge a little bit of my comfort zone and, and sort of say what's on my mind. Listen, I've had an amazing day so far with no expectations. I ordered myself a puzzle because I love puzzles and I started doing it this morning. Amazing. Joyful. I gave it to myself. Did I sit around going, well, if someone knew me better, they would order me a puzzle, blah, blah. Who cares? Right? I mean, who cares? My husband wanted to do something special for me. So he made me a delicious breakfast. That was lovely. Now he's not a traditional guy. So there's not going to be roses and there's not going to be um, a card, etc. But I don't need that. He loves me every single solitary day. But still, I can't help but feel that I'm allowed to play, <laughs> play the um, birthday card if I want to, and do the dance. You know, I still feel him checking on me. How are you doing? Is everything okay? Like, <laughs> why wouldn't it be? But again, it's checking on me to make sure that he's doing the right thing. And again, no criticism. He's awesome. We're going to dinner later. That's what I wanted. That's what we're doing. Um, but this checking in, this feeling from the people around us, the expectations that that others have because it's our birthday. It's just not fair. It's not fair to them, right? Um, and then there's the giving and the receiving. Then there's, you know, the people that do spend a lot of time giving to you if you don't accept it or a package doesn't get delivered or you missed the message or something like that. You know, you could potentially hurt them. Wow. <laughs> For me, a birthday is just another day. And I mean that. Um, for me, for me, it's been more a day of self reflection. I mean, I reflect every day, but it's been reflecting in the context of the fact that everybody knows it's my birthday. People don't typically know what's going on with me. And so that in, in some ways is a vulnerability. Um, and on the other hand, it's just kind of a bizarre thing. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm so curious to know what you guys think. Um, and, you know, just to, to let you know that you can brighten your own day and anybody else's day whenever you want. And that you can spoil yourself every single day. Now, how the spoiling looks might be different, but you don't need this sort of blanket um, hall pass, you know, that expires at, I don't know, midnight on your birthday. And when everyone starts in retrospect saying, how was your birthday? You know, it's the scorecard, basically, how did I do, you know, or how did you do? Or how did the people around you serve you? And um, it's so interesting, you know, oh, it's your birthday. And, you know, we should do something, but I, I didn't do anything. So how about we have dinner later or whatever? It's so interesting to me. It really doesn't matter. What matters is that people operate the way they want to operate. And I feel them. And if they want to wish me a happy birthday with a, a mushy emoji and, you know, and a big bright thing, then go for it. I'm, I'm not putting down anything. I am literally just, you know, taking the opportunity to think out loud. And I thank you in advance for, um, allowing me the space and taking the time to listen and, um, <laughs> and wishing me happy birthday. If you did, um, I promise you my birthday is happy. And, um, I hope that, that yours is too. And that every day is, is filled with happiness and gratitude just for being alive because literally every day is your birthday. I'm Lisa Hopkins. Stay safe and healthy, everyone. Thanks for so much for listening. And, uh, Remember to live in the moment.